Good morning, folks. We're starting with a full analysis of the CME we began reporting yesterday. We said it likely had an Earth-directed component, and now that we have fully updated C3 coronagraph sequences, including the raw images, it's clear that some ejecta is coming this way. And even though the bulk mass of the CME will miss Earth to the right from this view, a bit may have even shot wide enough to miss Earth to the left from this view. However, NASA's Enlil spiral is showing no impact whatsoever. Well, I'm inclined to believe my eyes, so we'll go with Noah's Enlil spiral at this time, showing a weak impact Sunday. I still think it could be tomorrow. The CME was also strong enough to perturb the interplanetary magnetic fields and surge high-energy particles to Earth days ahead of that CME. On the opposite limb of the Sun, we have seen that the next plasma filament is approaching. In another two days, it will become the primary eruption threat on our star. You can see the solar tornadoes dancing in black there. Now that filament will be the top eruption threat because not much else is happening except for the Earth-facing solar quiet. We've got no other CMEs to discuss. And over at spaceweathernews.com, we can see that X-ray solar flaring has flatlined. The last eight sunspot groups have been dominated by silence, regardless of their magnetic complexity and field structure. That one's number nine. In other space weather news, we had a gamma ray burst yesterday from Cassiopeia. A second stream of the corona hole swept past Earth, but it was only modestly powerful, like the first, and since it was the same polarity corona hole that produced them both, there has not been much disruption with the second stream. If it looks like we are between coronal holes right now, that's because we are. The southern negative opening is departing while the large northern positive opening is yet to come in. The full sun heliographic with the earth-facing side dead center shows there is an equatorial bulb just behind the limb a few days away. The last 24 hours we saw an above average tremor on the Canadian coastline along with multiple rumbles from Pakistan down the Indian Ridge and west across the Antarctic Ridge. A couple of those hit magnitude 6 on some readers. Top news articles include a press release from the ESO about kissing stars. Apparently a titanic collision is about to occur in the Tarantula Nebula. The article and video is linked for you below. Along with one out of Caltech, 10 points for recognizing there are giant magnets at the center of stars. You have to think around the gravitational model explanations, but still a good read. How about a little earth spot lesson? On sunspots, the central umbra is surrounded by penumbral currents all pointing back towards the center. We see the same feature in earth spots with the storm eye and ridges amidst the cloud arms that always want to point back to the center. By the way, Typhoon Champy will not hit Japan. The cold records continued falling in parts of Russia and Kazakhstan, but a break should come in the next week. Folks, Patricia, south of Mexico, is officially the strongest Pacific hurricane in history. And if you saw my magnetic earth talk at Observing the Frontier, you know the list of events this one is joining. It is likely to devastate the Mexican coastline here in the next day. Meanwhile, Olaf will try to avoid Hawaii. Quick note for website members at suspiciousobservers.org. I switched up the menu a bit over on the left so that your login button is now right up there near the top with your premium button below it, and your direct to SO link has been put right on the menu. Remember, we get hundreds of emails every day, and those sent through direct to SO get priority. Now, despite the strongest low in this view being in eastern Canada, the worst weather is coming to Texas. A flow off the Gulf of Mexico coming up to the north central low is also stealing Patricia's sheared moisture, and that's going to be a day of flooding in the Lone Star State. We're going to do that, pressure and radar forecasts, in the current global conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.